Hurley, come out! Come to my light! It is the dramatic moment first responders rushed into a burning home to rescue a young girl. And as flames ravaged the home, the child's mother and her boyfriend watched outside helpless. We first told you how that home in South Fort Worth burned to the ground three weeks ago. And tonight, the survivors are out of the hospital, but not free from the memories of a harrowing escape. Here's Todd Unger. It is a night of chaos that Brian Boyer is still living three weeks later. The suction sound in the room. And I knew immediately from movies and all the other things that just instinct said something's really bad. Off, but the whole house is just, it's just fully engulfed. It happened on a Wednesday. Flames suddenly shooting 20 feet into the air from a home in South Fort Worth. Who's in there? Who's in there? Inside are Brian, his girlfriend, and her daughter, Bailey. To save my family. That was the only priority. Brian gets his girlfriend out and thinks Bailey is ahead of her, so he finally tries to find a way out himself. Put my hand on the metal door that's been heated by the fire and it burns, but I don't care, I know I'm there. But once outside, the couple realizes the 13-year-old is actually still inside. You just knew it wasn't right. Go. This body camera footage from an Everman police officer shows him and a Fort Worth firefighter working desperately to get the unconscious girl out. They do so just in time. And the flames were right off, off the floor. And Bailey has a, a bunk bed that she sleeps in, but luckily that night she was sleeping on the floor. All three patients were rushed here to Parkland Hospital where they spent days recovering. Brian himself spent more than two weeks in the burn unit because his injuries were so severe. Part of my back was going to need a skin graft. After the, uh, the fireball, the tops of the toes. There are also burns to his knees and feet. <laughs> but Brian says the family is simply grateful that Everman cop and Fort Worth firefighter got to Bailey when they did. There's, there's no words for it. It just, everything happened at the right moment for the right reasons. Now, Bailey and her mother are also out of the hospital tonight and recovering at home. Still no word on a cause of that fire, although we do know it started on the back porch. By the way, Brian's co-workers have set up a GoFundMe page. You can find out more about that at WFAA.com. Reporting live tonight, Todd Unger, Channel 8 News.